I think Dunk has actually eliminated two AOA ducks thus far. Let's check. Hold on. They're up while well, they're updating houses. Let me go look back and look at the records. Dunk, uh, this was an AOA deck that Dunk played here. This was not an AOA deck. Um, so the other AO decks lost. So Dunk beat one AOA deck, and this is the other, only remaining AOA deck. So Dunk will have a chance to knock out two of the four AOA decks day two. Um, so we will, we will see. This is exciting. I like this. The opponents are, the players are talking about decks, explaining cards and such. <laughs> Constantino's wishing that EMP Blast is at the bottom of Dunk's deck. Uh, EMP Blast is the card that Dunk Curl has in Pink Fraud that is an answer to all of the nine artifacts. I think it's nine that Constantino's has. If it's not nine, it's a large number that Constantino says. Let me look inside a drive. Hold on. Yeah, he, he does have he does have nine artifacts. So the players, I think Dunk's waiting for Fraud to be returned from the deck check process. Constantinos is shuffling his deck. This is high level Keyforge, folks. This is this is uh, this is as big as the stakes get currently. You could see the uh, you could see the creatively chosen uh, pink sleeves. Yes, on pink fraud. Because the app for the aptly named uh, Admiral is slaying the pink fraud. So this is this is the match um, that we're all waiting for. Dunk, Dunk is gonna pile shuffle, and I'm gonna have a bit of a chuckle because we've had some conversations in the past about how pile shuffling is not really shuffling that much, but he's he's gonna do it anyway. They're gonna exchange um, our Archon cards. You can bet that both of these players know exactly what the other players are playing. The deck list were released last night. Um, last night local time in the u.s it was during the afternoon and they've had all the time in the world to review each other's deck list look at potential opponents and they know exactly you know who they're playing when they're playing they can look at the brackets that have been created by myself and others online so none of this is private information but they are taking last minute reviews to look over the deck list and see um what potential threats they see um, Constantino sees that uh, Dunk has EMP Blast in the deck, which is the big answer to a lot of his artifacts. Um, which is a big answer to a lot of his artifacts. Sorry, my cat knocked something over because of course she did. Anyway, um... He sees EMP Blast as an answer to a lot of his artifacts. Dunk is looking at um, his deck and sees things like Grump Buggy, uh, Iron Obelisk, things that increase key cost. So I, when EMP, when and if EMP Blast comes out of this match, it's going to be a huge portion of determining who wins. Um, we're going to see some other interesting interactions um, depending upon what sort of board presence Constantinos can build and if Dunk can answer. Players are getting ready. They're shuffling up. The clock that's going at the top of the screen, by the way, I'm not sure if that's accurate. Um, my instinct is that that clock was started um, a little prematurely. But the people who are running this stream, uh, Crazy Killing Machine, that we're getting the feed from, are judging at the event. So it's possible that the time is running. And if so, both players should really uh, get started as quickly as they can. Um, because um, with with Constantinos' deck, Grump Buggy, Iron Obelisk, things can tend to go long. It looked like one player, looked like Dunk rolled one die and Constantinos rolled two die, so I can't quite tell. Um, who's going first? Looks like Dunk is going first. Players wish themselves good luck. Dunk opens a hand with two, uh, with Three Logos, one Mars, th sorry, three Logos, three Mars, one Shadows. So we'll see what he opts to play turn one. Let's see. On this hand, I think I probably drop a Logos creature, but I can't see what he has in Shadows. Dunk only has one artifact in the deck, and that's Spectral Tunneler. If Dunk has Spectral Tunneler in hand, if that's the thing with the Logos Amber Pip on it, and the Shadows 
card is Carlo Phantom. It's not a terrible idea to drop Carlo Phantom down turn one and then play Logos next turn and drop Tunneler down, but those are a lot of assumptions and I can't see the exact cards that he has. Constantino's taking a mulligan here, drawing to five. There it is. So he was Carlo Phantom, so I was correct. That was Carlo Phantom in deck. So that probably means, well, he could have just played the single uh, Shadow's Creature anyway, uh, even if that Logos card with a pip is not Tunneler. No, that's Reverse Time. Okay. Reverse Time is a super important card in this deck. We'll come back to that in a minute. Let's talk about Constantino's decision. Constantino's is sitting over here looking at um, it looks like Lab Work, Sloppy Lab Work, Grump Buggy, Sound the Horns, and Obelisk. So that's a pretty good opening hand for him. He's getting all the artifacts online very quickly. Oh, that's Wormhole. I'm sorry, not Lab Work. So he's Wormholing into Groggins. Okay. He's then going to play, I think that's Sloppy Lab Work. He's going to Archive Grump Buggy. Surely discard Sound the Horns, right? He can't discard Obelisk here. That's, that feels real bad. I guess he could discard Obelisk, but that's bad. He should, yeah, he discards Sound the Horns. That's correct, in my opinion. Um, and then draws up. Dunk's playing Mars. Dunk is just going to brute force out Mega Mouth, Grabber Jammer, Squawker to reap uh, with, uh, to, to ready Mega Mouth to reap and reap. And ready up. So he's called Brobnar, called his archive. Here comes Grump Bucky, um, Gauntlet, and the Obelisk, Pile of Skulls, and Ganger Chieftain. Sorry, and, and the Gauntlet. So then he's got Ganger Chieftain to come in and kill them. So he's got all of the... He's got all of the artifacts, so Dunk would very much like to find EMP Blast and soon. Okay, so Dunk is probably going to call Logos here. He could call Shadows, but I don't think he's going to do that. He's going to reverse time his, his deck. He's going to play Lab Work to archive a card. He did not shuffle his deck because he's going to redraw all those cards at the end of turn anyway, so there's no point in going through the shuffling process. He's readying up and drawing uh, five cards. So he was going to draw all the cards that are discarded anyway. There's no point in reshuffling. Uh, excuse me, that were, in, um, that were in his draw pile. There's no point in, in shuffling his draw pile if he's going to just draw all the cards anyway. That's what he told his opponent and the judge, and they, said that they both said that's fine. So Dunk needs to draw, I believe, two more cards out of the, out of his deck. Presents his deck to his opponent. He's really hunting for EMP Blast here, uh, because he's now got all of the key cost increasing things on the board. Dunk needs to draw one more card. Okay, and there he goes. He's got six. He's redrawn reverse time. Okay, so that that's a good card. Reverse time is great in this deck because the average card value is so high that if you run into a sequence of cards that benefits you, you can immediately like replay them in in almost immediately the next turn with all of these things. Dunk, however, needs to start jamming cards on the board, in my opinion, um, filtering hand, going through deck as quickly as possible to find EMP Blast. He needs to find EMP Blast in this deck. He pulls his archive... He's going to play Mars Creatures, Grabber Jammer, Grabber Jammer. Yeah, he's moving all that stuff down. Thanks, Dunk. Uh, playing Grabber Jammer to ready... Ready Mega Mouth. He's going to reap with Mega Mouth, probably. To use something to fight, would be my guess. The play here is... Right, the play here is... The play here is, right, to reap, and then the question is, does he want to fight with Brain Eater into the Chieftain to kill the Chieftain, 
which is not a bad idea. Yes, that's, yeah, because he can't put himself in check anyway because of the Grump Buggy. So he might as well fight, and he gets a card card draw trigger off that. Ooh, and he draws Battle Fleet. Okay. He really would have liked that last turn with all the Mars cards in hand, um, with all the Mars cards he just played. But he, he is going to get to sixth. Again, that's not checked because of the Grump Buggy. He's going to play Battle Fleet just for the Amber. And I would expect that we're going to see reverse time next turn. Now, Dunk is kind of, it's not, I was going to say laid a trap. He hasn't laid a trap here, but he has put his opponent in an interesting position because he, Dunk actually wants his opponent, or at least isn't really angry if his opponent kills the Grabber Jambers here. And the reason why is he's sitting on reverse time in hand. So if his opponent kills the Grabber Jammers and puts them in discard, Dunk can then call Logos next turn, play reverse time, flip the deck over into discard, flip the discard into deck. And then, oh, he played, uh, did he play Gateway? I'm sorry, I missed that. He must have, right? So now Dunk, um, so he plays Helper Bot, Titan Mechanic, and Kalfine. He's considering holding on to Entropic, which is probably not right here. Dunk doesn't really care about board state most of the time. He should... He should discard it or damage that. That's fine, just to get an extra amber. He's still not a check. It's damaged. Okay, right. So, okay, never mind. He was right to use Entropic there because it caused um, Iron Obelisk to trigger to prevent Dunk from forging. So Dunk now plays Reverse Time as expected, flips the deck over into discard, is going to shuffle, um, is going to shuffle the deck that's full... His deck is now full of mostly Mars cards, including Battle Fleet. So he's, he's setting up a pretty good Mars turn next turn. And we're going to see here... Um, we're going to see Dunk um, decide whether or not he wants to play Graft. He probably does want to play Graft for the Amber. Plays Graft for the Amber. Plays Quixo. Draws three. So he unfortunately only has one Battle Fleet in hand... Um, he does not draw the second battle fleet, which probably means he's going to play Shadows, if I'm reading his hand correctly next turn. He could play Logos, but he's likely to play Shadows, or he could just pivot and say, I'm going to take a crack at playing a battle fleet for two. Meanwhile, he plays Cutthroat, uh, Constantinos plays Cutthroat Research, which is a much better card in Constantinos' deck than a lot of decks, because of all the key cost increasing artifacts. Cutthroat Research does real work in this deck versus just kind of being an auxiliary card that rarely does work. Constantinos plays Igor. He's going to pull a Brobnar card, discarding. Looks like, I think that's an Exhum and a Scrapper. He pulled Chieftain. He's got Drummer Knot in hand, so he's setting up the Drummer Knot combos. He's playing Sloppy Lab Work. Yeah, so we'll see. Um, we'll see what happens here. I, Dunk has two choices. Dunk can call fraud, call fraud, call Mars, excuse me, and pivot, um, and try to draw into the second battle fleet here, or he can call shadows, poison wave, kill a bunch of things, and he plays lights out to pop everything back to hand. So that's a pretty good stalling tactic here. Unfortunately, we know that he has Drummer Knot and Chieftain in hand. So this is going to be a problem for Dunk. Because what's about to happen is that he's going to call Brobnar and, for, and make a whole bunch of Amber. Now, Dunk has drawn into the second battle fleet. So this is the benefit. The benefit is that Dunk has drawn into his double battle fleet combo in hand. That's going to let him access the deck. And he's going to reap with Chieftain. Sorry, with Calfine. Chieftain's got it ready. He's going to play Drummer Knot to pop Chieftain.
So we'll see if Dunk... Dunk is going to play some grabber jammers. We'll see if he can take him off check in a minute. So Dunk does get his first key. So that's a really important part of the match here. Dunk is really looking to draw into EMP Blast here. He would really like to decrease the cost of keys. Here comes the Battle Fleet combinations. So he's drawing four cards. He needs he needs one card out of deck. So he's... So he's looking for key abduction, and he's looking... More importantly for EMP Blast right now, he really wants to get rid of the artifacts on the table. He also wouldn't mind having another Squawker, but let's see. Let me do some quick math here. Constantinos is at 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. The Double Grabber Jammers increases cost to 8. The Squawker can functionally knock one off. Okay, so he's drawing 5 cards again. 3, 4... Wow, and he bricked on the second. That is a huge development. He bricked on the second. Battle Fleet. Wow, that's exceptionally bad luck for him. That's exceptionally bad luck that he bricked on the entire second Battle Fleet. Okay, so Dunk has to get busy now. Um, unfortunately, the Brobnar combos are going to be in full effect here. Dunk is in a bit of trouble here. He has not put himself in check. Alright. Well, here we go. And now we see... What happens? Okay, so he's he's figuring out he's figuring out how to sequence this. He's gonna end himself putting him in check, putting himself in check here, and this is a real big problem. Dunk is in trouble here, and it stems from him getting exceptionally unlucky on the second battle fleet trigger and not drawing EMP blast or squawker to take him off check or anything else. So he's now in check at 7, and Dunk has got to find some answers for this. Now at 8. I don't know that Dunk has enough answers for this in deck. He can take advantage... He can take advantage of Grump Buggy if he can find things like Brain Eater in Logos. But Dunk might just be dead here. It's a very rough way to go out in top four if he if he does for this reason. He's playing library access and we're going to start rolling some stuff off here. Okay, so he's now increased the key cost by two, because he's played two creatures that are above five. And that's it! 
Konstantinos has won. 